Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to walk you through my top holiday gift guide for that Osmo Pocket user in your life. I have been using the Osmo Pocket 3 for over a year now and I have captured some incredible footage with it, but there are a number of accessories that make my life a little bit easier while using the Osmo Pocket 3. So today I am going to walk you through my top accessories I use with my Osmo Pocket 3 and I think they are a great pickup for anyone who has the Osmo Pocket 3. So let's jump into it. Okay, so the first accessory I am going to show you is this magnetic case that attaches to your Osmo Pocket 3. This case is incredible. I love using it. It's a very strong magnet. These are pretty inexpensive. I picked this one up for around $15 or $16 off of Amazon. However, a bunch of different companies are making these. So just do your research and I think you'll be happy with any one that you pick up. But this is great because when I'm at home, I can attach it to my refrigerator with the magnet. Or if I'm out riding my bike and I wanna capture myself riding my bike, I have in the past used it to stick it to things magnetic, whether it's a sign or something I pass in order to capture that footage from a higher angle. And as you can see, it doesn't really take up that much room on the Osmo Pocket 3. This is a great accessory, and this is probably my favorite accessory I use for my DJI Osmo Pocket 3. My next accessory is this light stand slash travel tripod from Loom Cube. This thing is awesome. So this tripod will go up to five or six feet and it's super easy to travel with. As you can see, it's very small. I have used this many, many times with my Osmo Pocket 3. It's perfect because I can just throw this in my backpack and I know I have a little tripod that I can use with my Osmo Pocket. But also if I wanna capture some unique angles, I can attach my Osmo Pocket to the end of this and use it as a long monopod. There are many uses for this mini tripod right here and it is one of my favorites on the market however like i said before just because i have this one doesn't mean you have to go out and get this one there are plenty of mini tripods on the market that you can use with the Osmo pocket 3. however i do like this one because it folds up nicely and it is easy to store and also take with me now loom cube does also make a smaller one which will go up to 19 inches so if you're really just looking for a little extra reach that may be the way to go this retails for around $60 and the one that goes up to 19 inches will retail for around $30. Okay, so the next accessory I wanna talk about is a filter kit. As an Osmo Pocket 3 user, I am using mine during the daytime, so having an ND filter with me is great because I know I can bring my shutter back down, but also having a ProMist filter is a lot of fun to use on the Osmo Pocket 3, especially at nighttime. Having a kit of filters will make any Osmo Pocket user happy. So go out and get a kit. These range from $15 if you're just trying to get one ND filter to kits all the way up to $60, $70. But really there's a kit for everyone. The company I like to use is k &F Filters. I have been using their filters for over a year now and I have not had any color casts with them. And they're also very cool because they're magnetic, so they just attach magnetically to your Osmo Pocket 3. Okay, the next accessory that I cannot talk enough about is an extra battery for your Osmo Pocket 3. This is amazing because with one of these, I know I can shoot all day. And if you did not get the creator combo, you may be looking for extra battery. These go for about $70 from DJI, but you are guaranteed to be able to shoot all day. And just having a couple of these is amazing because if you're going away for a long weekend, you may not want to charge up your batteries and having a couple of these will last you all weekend long of shooting. I always try to buy three or four batteries for every camera I'm using just so I don't have to worry about charging and I know I'm going to have enough battery in order to capture what I want to capture. Speaking of stuff I cannot get enough of, I think you need more SD cards for your Osmo Pocket 3. This right here is a 256 gig one that I have been using and this is great because I know I can capture a lot of footage with it. But having a couple more of these is never a bad idea. They're super cheap to pick up. I think you could pick up a 256 gig for around $25 and a 128 gig for around $15. And like I said, these are very similar to batteries where I don't think you can have enough of them because while you're out with your Osmo Pocket 3, the worst thing is you filled up your card and now you can't shoot anymore. So to have these as backup is a guaranteed you're gonna be able to capture the footage you want to capture. 
And talking about footage and storage, I cannot recommend enough these SanDisk SSD drives. These are incredible because they're super small and they hold either two terabytes or four terabytes. Now they are a little bit more expensive, but these are extremely fast drives. I edit all my videos off of these hard drives and I have not had any issues. And I know all the footage I am capturing on my Osmo Pocket 3 is safe because I am keeping it on a couple different SSD drives. These are so impressive. They're so small. You can carry three or four of them in your backpack at a time and they do not take up that much weight. They're also very durable. I travel all the time with mine in my backpack and I have not had any issues with them. I cannot recommend these SSD drives enough. You can pick one up for about $140 for the two terabyte drive one, which is a great deal. But if you really want the four terabyte one, I've seen them as low as $240, which is also an incredible deal for the storage and the space and the speed you are getting with these SSD drives. Now, if you just picked up the Osmo Pocket 3 without the creator kit, you may be wanting to pick up one of these DJI Mic 2s. These mics are incredible. They record 32-bit. It's like taking a raw photo for your audio, whether you're peaking super high or you're super low, you're always gonna be able to save that audio in post. They're magnetic, so you can just attach it to any piece of clothing you are wearing, but they also have a clip on them. So you can clip it to a jacket or a backpack or anything you have and you're carrying with you. And it syncs automatically with your Osmo Pocket 3, which is very cool because then you don't have to sync your audio in post. But if you already have the DJI Mic 2, I cannot recommend getting a handstand enough. This handstand is really cool. I just recently picked it up, but I have been using it for a couple shoots. And as you can see here, I can just attach it right there. And now I have my mic and it is on a handstand. And this is great because sometimes I want something in my hands to hold while using my Osmo Pocket 3. I think it is a great accessory for the DJI Mic 2 and I have been having a lot of fun with it. And they're pretty inexpensive. I picked mine up for around $25. This is the Godox version. A bunch of companies make these. Rode makes one, Godox makes one, and I'm sure there's even cheaper ones on Amazon. Also, if you did wanna hide your mic, it does come with one of these windscreens. So now it looks like I'm just holding a mic and I'm not using the DJI mic too. And I'm pretty sure you can attach a mic flag to this mic as well. Now my next accessory is a little belt bag. I have this one from Kale Pack and it has been great because I've been able to fit my Osmo Pocket 3, a battery, my ND filters in it. And it's very incognito, right? If I'm walking around a city with this, it just looks like I'm carrying a belt bag and it doesn't look like I'm carrying a camera equipment with me. And as you can see, it is much bigger than the case bag that comes with the Osmo Pocket 3. I cannot recommend this enough. There's a ton of different belt bags out there and I'm pretty sure most of them will work with the Osmo Pocket 3 for storing and carrying on the go. And if I am carrying my Osmo Pocket 3 out and about, majority of the time it is coming with me in this bag. Now the last thing on my list that I do want to talk about, I do not own, but if you had a GoPro in the past and you may have a lot of different GoPro accessories, you can buy an attachment for the Osmo Pocket 3, which sits similar to the magnetic attachment I showed you, but instead of having a magnetic back, it does have a GoPro mount back. So now you can use all those accessories you bought with your GoPro with your Osmo Pocket 3. Awesome, so those have been my top 10 accessories for the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. As you can see, they made my life so much easier using the Osmo Pocket 3 on the go. I hope you found these recommendations helpful. And if you are buying these for someone who is using the Osmo Pocket 3, I know they will love them. Please like and subscribe to my channel because you know it helps my channel grow. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.